My name is Jack, and I guess you could say I'm a pretty typical 16-year-old in most respects. I'm shy, introspective, and I prefer spending my time with a good book or video game rather than out at parties or social events. There's one thing, though, that sets me apart from my friends. One secret that I've guarded fiercely for as long as I can remember. My fascination with women's clothing. And this isn't something that I've ever talked about with anyone. It's not something I even fully understand myself. All I know is that there's something about the feel of soft fabrics, the elegance of high heels, and the allure of a perfectly fitted dress that captivates me in ways I can hardly put into words. Living with my mom, Lily, complicates things. She's a single mother who works long hours at a demanding job to provide for us. She's loving and supportive, but she's also strict and expects a lot from me. Her job keeps her busy, and while that often means I'm left alone to my own devices, it also means that any misstep on my part is bound to be noticed eventually. My curiosity about women's fashion started innocently enough. I remember the first time I saw my mom dressed up for a night out, her hair perfectly styled, makeup flawless, and wearing a stunning dress that seemed to transform her into someone else entirely. I was mesmerized. From that moment on, I couldn't shake the fascination with the idea of dressing up in the same way. At first, I tried to suppress these feelings, burying them deep and hoping they would fade away. But they didn't. Instead, they grew stronger. It got to the point where just looking at my mom's clothes hanging in her closet filled me with an almost unbearable longing. Eventually, I couldn't resist the urge any longer. It started with something small. One day, while mom was at work, I crept into her room and carefully opened her closet. My heart pounded in my chest as I ran my fingers over the fabrics, silk, satin, lace. I pulled out a simple dress, nothing too flashy, and hesitantly slipped it on. The sensation was electrifying. I felt a thrill that I had never experienced before, a mix of excitement and terror. That first experience opened the floodgates. Whenever my mom was at work, I would sneak into her room and try on her clothes. Each time, I grew bolder. I started experimenting with her high heels, her bras, and even her wigs. The wigs were a game changer. With one on, I could almost see myself as someone else entirely, someone confident, elegant, and poised. I'd meticulously put everything back in its place when I was done, making sure that nothing seemed out of order. I'd double-check every hanger, smooth out every wrinkle, and ensure that every shoe was exactly where I found it. I was careful, but the thrill of it all made the risk feel worth it. One of my favorite outfits was a red dress that hugged my body in all the right places. Paired with black pantyhose and my mom's highest heels, it made me feel incredible. I'd walk back and forth in front of the mirror, practicing my posture and trying to emulate the way my mom moved so gracefully. But it wasn't just about the clothes. The act of dressing up became a ritual for me. I'd start with the undergarments, carefully selecting a matching bra and panties set. Then came the pantyhose, which took some practice to put on without snagging. Finally, the dress and the wig, transforming me into someone else entirely. Despite my efforts to be careful, I always felt a sense of danger. What if mom came home early? What if she noticed something was off? These thoughts haunted me every time I dressed up, but I couldn't stop. The thrill was too intoxicating. My mom's busy schedule worked to my advantage. Her job required long hours and sometimes even travel, giving me plenty of opportunities to indulge in my secret without fear of being discovered. But even with all my precautions, there was always a nagging sense of paranoia that kept me on edge. One particularly daring day, I decided to push my limits. Mom was away for a weekend conference, giving me an entire two days to myself. I spent the first day carefully planning out my outfit. I chose a stunning black cocktail dress, paired with sheer black pantyhose, a matching set of lace lingerie, and my mom's favorite pair of stilettos. I topped it off with her long blonde wig, which cascaded down my back in soft waves. 
I spent hours that day perfecting my look. I even attempted to do my makeup, following tutorials online and experimenting with different styles until I found one that complemented the outfit. When I finally looked in the mirror, I could hardly recognize myself. I wasn't Jack anymore. I was someone else entirely. The sense of freedom and exhilaration was almost overwhelming. I spent the day walking around the house, practicing my movements, and even taking a few selfies to document my transformation. It was the happiest I'd felt in a long time. As the sun began to set, I reluctantly started the process of returning everything to its rightful place. I removed the dress, carefully hung it back up, and made sure to smooth out any wrinkles. The wig went back on its stand, the heels back in their box, and the lingerie neatly folded away. I wiped off the makeup, making sure no traces were left behind. By the time I was done, it was as if the day had never happened. As I lay in bed that night, replaying the events of the day in my mind, I felt a mixture of satisfaction and dread. I knew that my secret was safe, for now. But I also knew that I couldn't keep living this double life forever. Sooner or later, something would give, and I'd have to face the consequences. But for now, I was content to live in the moment, savoring the thrill of my hidden world. The following week passed without incident. Mom was as busy as ever, her demanding job keeping her occupied from dawn till dusk. I continued my routine, sneaking into her room whenever I had the chance, careful as always to leave everything exactly as I found it. Each time I dressed up, the thrill was just as intoxicating, and the fear of being caught only added to the excitement. But then, one fateful day, I made a mistake. I had spent the afternoon trying on one of Mom's favorite pairs of heels, a stunning pair of red stilettos that made me feel like I was walking on air. I had been meticulous about putting everything back in its place, but in my haste, I hadn't noticed that I had left the heels slightly out of alignment. It was a small detail, but one that did not escape Mom's notice. Lily came home that evening, tired from another long day at work. As she went to put away her things, she noticed the heels. At first, she thought nothing of it, assuming she had misplaced them herself. But as she looked closer, a sense of unease began to creep in. She knew her closet like the back of her hand, and something felt off. Deciding not to confront me immediately, she kept her suspicions to herself, but her watchful eye was now on high alert. Over the next few days, she began to notice other small signs, an item of clothing slightly out of place, a faint trace of makeup on the bathroom counter. The pieces of the puzzle were starting to come together, and she couldn't ignore them any longer. Then it happened. It was a Friday afternoon, and I had come home from school early. Mom had told me she had a meeting that would keep her late, so I felt safe to indulge in my secret. I went to her room and selected a beautiful blue dress, paired with the same red stilettos that had caused my earlier slip-up. I completed the look with a blonde wig and some light makeup, feeling more like myself than I ever did in my everyday clothes. As I admired myself in the mirror, lost in the fantasy, I heard the front door open. My heart stopped. Mom was home early. Panic set in as I scrambled to change back, but it was too late. She was already at the bedroom door. The look on her face when she saw me was one I would never forget. Shock, confusion, and a deep sense of betrayal all mingled in her expression. I stood there, frozen, unable to move or speak. What on earth are you doing? she demanded, her voice a mixture of anger and disbelief. I opened my mouth to speak, but no words came out. My mind raced, trying to find an explanation, an excuse, anything that could make this situation better. But there was nothing. I, I can't explain, I finally stammered. But even as I said the words, I knew they sounded hollow. Mom's eyes narrowed. Explain? What could possibly explain this? She gestured to my outfit, the evidence of my secret life now laid bare before her. I took a deep breath, trying to steady myself. 
I, I like wearing your clothes, I admitted, my voice barely above a whisper. I don't know why, but it makes me feel different, better. Her expression softened for a moment, but then the anger returned. You like wearing my clothes? She repeated, her voice rising. Do you have any idea how wrong this is? Tears welled up in my eyes as I struggled to find the right words. I'm sorry, Mom. I never meant to hurt you or invade your privacy. I just, I don't know how to explain it. It feels right when I do it, like I'm finally being myself. She sighed, running a hand through her hair. I don't understand, Jack. I don't understand any of this. Why didn't you come to me? Why didn't you talk to me about it? Because I was scared, I admitted, the tears now streaming down my face. I didn't know how you would react. I didn't want you to hate me. Hate you? She repeated, her voice softening again. Oh, Jack, I could never hate you. But this, this is a lot to take in. We stood there in silence for a moment, the tension in the room almost palpable. Finally, she took a deep breath and seemed to come to a decision. We're going to figure this out, she said, her voice firm but not unkind. But there will be consequences. You need to understand that. I nodded, relief and fear mingling in my chest. I didn't know what those consequences would be, but I was grateful that she wasn't rejecting me outright. First things first, she said, her tone now more businesslike. Let's get you out of my clothes and into something more appropriate. Then we'll talk. I changed quickly, my hands trembling as I removed the dress and heels and put on my regular clothes. Mom watched silently, her expression unreadable. Once I was dressed, she led me downstairs to the living room where we sat down to talk. I need you to be honest with me, Jack, she said, her voice calm but serious. How long has this been going on? I swallowed hard, feeling a fresh wave of fear. A few months, I admitted. Ever since that night you went out with your friends and I saw you all dressed up, I couldn't stop thinking about it. I just, I wanted to know what it felt like. She nodded slowly, absorbing my words. And you've been doing this regularly? Sneaking into my room, wearing my clothes? Yes. I said, my voice barely above a whisper. I'm so sorry, Mom. I never meant to hurt you or disrespect your things. I just, I didn't know what else to do. She sighed again, her expression softening. I believe you, Jack, but this is serious. We need to find a way to deal with this that respects both your feelings and my boundaries. Do you understand? I nodded, feeling a mixture of relief and dread. Yes, Mom. I understand. A thought seemed to flash across her face, and she smiled softly. You know what, Jack? If you want to experience femininity, why don't I guide you through it? It's very exciting and fun. I could teach you everything I know. Makeup, fashion, everything. Who knows? Maybe it'll bring us closer. What do you say? I was taken aback. The offer was both daunting and intriguing. I had never imagined my mom would react this way, but a part of me had always longed for guidance, for someone to help me navigate these confusing feelings. I hesitated for a moment, then nodded. Okay, mom, I'd like that. She led me back upstairs to her room, her demeanor shifting to one of excited anticipation. Just take a seat and I'll do the rest, she instructed, her tone warm and reassuring. I sat down on the edge of her bed, my heart pounding with a mix of fear and excitement. Mom started by placing a wig on my head, adjusting it carefully until it looked natural. I glanced at myself in the mirror, barely recognizing the person staring back. The transformation had begun. She looked at the bra and panties I had laid out and chuckled softly. Well, you really did get the full experience, didn't you? She teased. I laughed nervously feeling my cheeks flush. Yeah, I guess so. She helped me wear the bra and panties, her hands steady and sure. As she fastened the bra, I felt a strange sense of comfort and acceptance. Next, she held up a dress, a beautiful flowing garment that shimmered in the light. 
I slipped into it with her help, feeling the fabric glide over my skin. It was a sensation like no other. Mom stepped back to admire her work, then asked, have you tried pantyhose before? I nodded enthusiastically. Yeah, I love it so much. She raised an eyebrow, a playful smile on her lips. Wow, you've already tried everything, haven't you? She teased, her tone light and teasing. I blushed but couldn't help but smile. I guess I have. She handed me a pair of pantyhose, and I carefully pulled them on, feeling the familiar, comforting sensation as they hugged my legs. Mom watched, her expression thoughtful. She was about to hand me a pair of heels when she hesitated, a slight frown creasing her forehead. Actually, that might be too hard for you, she said, her voice tinged with concern. No, Mom, I interrupted, surprising even myself with my eagerness. I'm great at walking in heels. To prove my point, I slipped into a pair of her black stilettos and stood up. Mom raised an eyebrow, clearly skeptical. Let's see then. I took a deep breath and walked across the room, focusing on keeping my steps smooth and graceful. The click of the heels against the hardwood floor filled the silence, and I could feel mom's eyes on me the entire time. When I reached the other side of the room, I turned around and walked back, managing a confident smile despite the butterflies in my stomach. Mom clapped her hands, a look of genuine surprise and admiration on her face. Well, color me impressed, sweetheart. You really do have a knack for this. I beamed, a flush of pride warming my cheeks. Thanks, Mom. She smiled, her eyes softening. All right, then, let's continue. She handed me a delicate necklace and earrings, helping me put them on. The finishing touches made me feel more complete, more feminine. You know, she said, stepping back to admire her handiwork. I never imagined myself doing this with my son. But here we are, and I have to say, I'm really proud of you. Her words made my heart swell with emotion. Thanks, Mom. I really appreciate this. We spent the next few hours with her teaching me the finer points of makeup application, explaining the importance of blending and highlighting and how to accentuate my best features. We laughed and chatted, sharing stories and bonding in a way we never had before. It felt like a new chapter in our relationship, one built on honesty and understanding. As the night wore on, she showed me how to properly care for my wig, how to style it, and how to remove and reapply it without damaging it. She also taught me about skincare routines and the importance of keeping my skin healthy and moisturized. Tomorrow, we'll tackle voice training and feminine mannerisms, she said with a smile. But for now, I think we've done enough for one day. I nodded, feeling a mix of exhaustion and excitement. Okay, Mom, thanks for everything. You're welcome, honey she said, giving me a warm hug. Now, get some rest. We've got a lot more to learn. Hope you enjoyed this story, and if you're looking for a daily escape into the world of cross-dressing, subscribe now and enjoy new stories every single day.